Sometimes, even one word is enough to open a window on a new view of the world, to start the mind on an inner journey. Fighting the mind does not work. What works best is learning to focus it. To still the mind, one must learn to put it somewhere. It cannot just be let go, it must be focused. Okay, okay, I get it. So, if I wish to disentangle my inside from the mess I so often encounter on the outside, what do I do? You already do it in your consciousness. You create interior order with tools like numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And the letters or symbols of language. A, B, C, D. E. Now we just need to apply and practice these skills to the deep things. Since the beginning of time, human beings intent on nurturing and maintaining a connection with depth have used intentional, repetitive interior recitations. These special words or phrases or longer recitations have gone by many different names, but this is not our concern here. Anyone from any tradition or no tradition can adopt this practice habitually or situationally. What if I don't have a personal teacher or a wisdom tradition? Simply find voices that resonate deeply with you and get started. Just borrow a teacher or a tradition. Let your dialogue with the interior recitation take you on a journey. This is an evolving experience. Some examples would be helpful. Joe Slicker can get us started. I don't know how to talk about the contemplative life, but I would like to close this in a, in a contemplative dimension. These affirmations happen to be mine. So therefore, I want to read them to you slowly so you may see them and either take them into yourself and go along with the rest of the uh, things as well as that. I am in my journey today and how that may be of help to other people in their journey at whatever place they may be. In this moment, I experience and celebrate with gratitude and exuberance that everything comes to pass exactly as it does. Love is source. Love is consciousness. Love is life. My true nature is love. I live love and am filled with love in the here and now of life. Life pulsates as relative oscillation. It eternally seduces itself and is forever drunk on its own nectar. I actuate my heart field focus and I am forever grateful for the love that I am, the love that empowers me moment by moment. I experience love and only love, love in all I encounter and all that surrounds me. Now let's practice some interior recitations others have shared and see what resonates. With my whole heart, I want it to be just like this. With my whole heart, I want it to be just like this. With my whole heart, I want it to be just like this. I look at all that I see, hear, touch, 
feel, and smell, and say, never again, never again, never again, never again. I look at all that I see, hear, touch, feel, and smell, and say, never again, never again. Never again, never again. I look at all that I see, hear, touch, feel, and smell, and say, never again, never again, never again, never again. I have arrived. I am home in the here, in the now. I have arrived. I am home in the here, in the now. I have arrived. I am home in the here, in the now. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart. I let go and I let flow. I let go and I let flow. I let go and I let flow. Be here now. Be here now. Be here now. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. What I want is what is. What I want is what is. What I want is what is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I keep the ultimate and the universal and the empty ever before my eyes and upon my heart and on my lips. I keep the ultimate and the universal and the empty ever before my eyes and upon my heart and on my lips. I keep the ultimate and the universal and the empty ever before my eyes and upon my heart and on my lips. I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Yes, we can. 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 I prefer to abandon everything I can know. I choose to love that mysterious presence I cannot know. I prefer to abandon everything I can know. I choose to love that mysterious presence I cannot know. 
I prefer to abandon everything I can know. I choose to love that mysterious presence I cannot know. All roads lead to the earth. The abyss leads to God. Leap! All roads lead to the earth. The abyss leads to God. Leap! All roads lead to the earth. The abyss leads to God. Leap! Peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. Let there be less and less of me in everything. Let there be less and less of me in everything. Let there be less and less of me in everything. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Short words and single thoughts can pierce the boundaries of the infinite. If you want to gather all your desire into one simple word that the mind can retain, choose a short word rather than a long one. A one-syllable word such as God or love is best. But choose one that is meaningful to you then fix it in your mind so that it will remain there come what may. This word will be your defense in conflict and in peace. Use it to beat upon the cloud of darkness above you and subdue all distractions, consigning them to the cloud of forgetting beneath you. Should some thought go on annoying you, demanding to know what you are doing, Answer with this one word alone. If your mind begins to intellectualize over the meaning and connotations of this little word, remind yourself that its value lies in its simplicity. Do this and I assure you these thoughts will vanish. Why? Because you have refused to develop them with arguing.
What are the thoughts I'm nurturing in my consciousness and imprinting on my heart today?